while building machine learning model there are you know basically two objectives okay the so first one is to make the training error small so we build the model on training data and we need to ensure that we make the training error as small as we possibly can the second objective is to make sure that the gap between the training and the test error the training and the test error is also small okay we also ensure that it's as small as we possibly can have okay if these two objectives are fulfilled then we have a good model otherwise we'll come up with we'll come across two different problems okay if the first objective is not fulfilled then we will face what is known as underfitting if the second objective is not fulfilled then we will face what is known as overfitting okay so underfitting is nothing but you know the training error is not less under uh, overfitting is nothing but the the you know gap between the training and test error is is quite huge okay the reason why these two things are important is to understand the model selection right how do we select model well we select the model that does justice to both these objectives right the one that meets both these objectives you know uh, and to the best possible extent we just select that as the final model and there are two ways to do it just we ensure that you know we we play around with all types of algorithms we explore all possible algorithms and then we also play around with the features available to us okay so data and algorithms um, available to us actually help us uh, help us improve the model and select the best model okay so that's how we find out the best model okay. one thing to you know keep in mind it has a philosophical importance because it's not during the uh, development of machine learning or statistical learning it has been there for uh, you know hundreds of years what is known as occam's razor uh, occam's razor um, and it's also uh, in some form we call that parsimony okay so the reason why we need to keep uh, Occam's razor theory or parsimony in mind is because while exploring algorithms and features, we often miss out on these two important, rather the same uh, philosophy, which has been in use for you know, many centuries, which says that among all competing hypotheses that explain known hypotheses equally well, select the simplest one. And this is one that is important. Okay. So we in in the you know in the um, objective to improve the model in the intention to improve the model we just sometimes uh, make our algorithm you know very complex and sometimes we just over explore the features okay but you know the, the philosophically it has been you know, verified the simplest ones actually uh, do a good job okay so that one thing you know one should keep in mind while building uh, machine learning models just to understand, uh, you know, by visualizing uh, how the underfitting and overfitting thing work with respect to the number of features and the algorithm. So, in one side, we have the error rate, ten training uh, error, training error, uh, and the gap between the training and test error. And on the side, we have the algorithms and the features. Okay. And many other, you know, things that that actually play a role in you know making sure that we get a very good model okay or improve the model okay so if we take a trade-off right what happens is that once we keep uh, we make our you know model very complex it fails to you know generalize sometimes okay and we can broadly divide the performance zone into two zones one is underfitting zone the other one is overfitting zone okay and the ideal thing to do is that wherever the you know the error rate is just the minimum okay just you know draw a perpendicular to the y axis um sorry this is the error okay i mean this is the minimum error right this is the minimum error. that's where we should uh, you know do that's where we should find we will find the optimal you know uh, model okay before that it is under prediction 
the error rate is quite high it will go down and there will be one point where the error rate will go up okay so there are a few things to keep in mind one is simplicity and then you explore uh, algorithms and features often times we you know we are lost in these two things right we explore algorithms and features we forget the hypothesis called occam's razor which emphasizes more on simplicity okay that's one of the reason why sometimes you know we fall in this area we fall in this area we do a good job in the historical data but when it comes to future prediction sometimes we do a bad job 